Hi, this is Jenny with Curators, and I'm here to give you a quick update on the Artifact Times Rimawa Mint that's coming up this Thursday, October 27th. So the first thing that we learned on Monday, uh, yesterday, was that there would be this mint and draw on the 27th of October, which is this Thursday. Uh, they have not put out a specific time. This is apparently what the luggage is going to look like, or some version of this. Um, it is called cabin luggage, so I can only assume that it is going to be of a size that would fit in the overhead compartment on an airplane. If you scroll down a little further, you can see that they are going to release 888 of those cabin luggage pieces, as well as 2,222 of the little worker bots that are responsible for making the digital version of the cabin luggage, so to speak. Um, and then with the worker bots, you're going to be able to get the 3D files with the cabin luggage mint. You would actually be able to forge the physical cabin luggage. So I did a little bit more digging about Rimawa because I wasn't that familiar with the brand. Um, and at Artifact, at RTFK, sorry, at RTFKT Twitter, Artifact's Twitter did put out um, a link to this article in Vogue Business, I think. And, uh, Basically, it talked a little bit about how Rimawa is a Louis Vuitton owned brand, which I did not know. So that was something that I learned. Um, and I guess that is going to explain the pricing of the cabin luggage. So I looked up their original cabin luggage, which is, you know, just the plain um, kind that doesn't have any design on it. And that retails for about $14.75 U.S. And so um, when you go to the Discord of Artifact, you can see that they actually have put out a pretty detailed frequently asked questions about this drop, which I thought was really helpful. So I'd highly recommend if you're interested in participating in this Mint that you go to the Artifact Discord and you go look um, up here at the Artifact Times Rimawa FAQ for the information that they put out. Basically, they're saying that they're pricing the um, the cabin luggage at 2.3 ETH, which when they wrote this, I think it was around $3,000, but the price of ETH actually went up since that time, so now that's a little bit over $3,000. So it's almost double what their plain cabin luggage retails for. It is a high price point, but like I mentioned, it does include forging the physical luggage. It also includes the shipping and the taxes on that product. So that's a positive. Uh, the little worker bots are 0 .08, 0 0.08 ETH, so a lot less expensive. But at the same time, that is just a digital um, NFT, and you're going to get 3D files. So not exactly the same. It doesn't come with anything in the physical world that we know of. Um, so you have to kind of think about where to apply your ETH. However, uh, with the limited 888 versus 2,222, you do have a higher chance of getting selected to participate in the Mint um, for the worker bot probably than for the cabin luggage. So you guys can read through this fact on your own time, but to summarize, they've sort of said that that whole draw process, the lottery process for being selected to participate in the Mint is going to be on the 27th. They have not set a specific time yet as to when that's going to take place. And they said it's going to be done through on cyber where to access the draw in the mint. The draw in the mint will happen in an on cyber space. Our community team will share the link and additional information across artifacts, social channels before the launch day. So we should be looking for that information to come out um, anytime now, but as with any Mint, you always want to be cautious and make sure you're only using official Mint um, links, official, you know, links that are put out from the official company running the Mint and not get scammed. Um, they do want you to use your wallet that has a clone in it because it's supposed to increase your chances of getting selected for the draw. So if you're asking yourself like, hey, I'm a clone holder. Is there any advantage to me as a clone holder to be a part of this? They do say in this fact um, that people that have clones in their wallets that are clone holders would actually have a higher chance of getting picked um, in the raffle. So that is something to consider. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you're planning to participate in the mint of the cabin luggage or the worker bots. In the comments down below, please take a minute to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Have a great night.